What's up everyone? How are you? Um, welcome to this vlog from Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. Now it's 8 o'clock in the morning and I am on my way to my manicure and pedicure. To get to this salon for my manicure I need to take a marshrutka or a shuttle bus in English and uh, I am on my way there. Um, oh, look at this kitchen, it's so small. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's well, so <coughs> it was a short interruption by the cat kitten. So to take to go there, I need to take a bus, shuttle bus from a street, a crossing street called Moskovskaya Sovetskaya. Shortly we call it Mos Soviet. And basically most of the most of the shuttle buses go from there. Also that place is famous for having exchanges exchange offices so if you want to exchange your money dollars euro whatever currency you have it's where you need to go i'm almost by the bus stop and uh, yeah many people are waiting a short ride in Marshrutka. Now I just need to find this place. I don't know Bishkek that good. That's why I always use the local maps. Every time I'm coming to Bishkek, I always think about the cars because Kyrgyzstan, according to many indexes, uh, international indexes, Kyrgyzstan is one of the poorest countries in the world. But look at the cars. How do people afford to have a Lexus? Or, I mean, look at these cars. They are giant. I understand why people have big cars because this is a mountain area and uh, if we want to travel from one part of Kyrgyzstan to another it's very difficult to drive on a simple car you need to have a, you need to have a Jeep or like a big car I am finally at the salon and I like it it's very nice it smells so good now it's not even 9 o'clock in the morning and I'm the first customer. I feel like I woke up and came here to make myself beautiful. Look at my nails, they are so, they are so bad now. So now I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee and uh, wait for my manicure. finished my manicure and I'm waiting for my toes to dry it was amazing the girls did the manicure and pedicure at the same time this is what I booked uh, because I didn't want to spend too much time at the salon I want to do some other stuff today uh, it was amazing just to relax and watch the TV super nice 
Also, I want to say that I have got these socks as a gift from uh, the girl who did the pedicure. I think it's so, so cute. How cute is it? And these socks are from Korea. So I just suppose that they are good and of good quality. Usually products from uh, South Korea are really good. I have just visited a store that is located very central, it's called Tumar. Tumar in Kyrgyz means amulet and they are selling uh, carpets, traditional carpets and souvenirs that are made in a traditional way. With, they are made with woolen. Uh, I visited that store because I was considering to buy our traditional carpet but after talking to the seller in that store I realized that I need to rethink my purchase and probably plan it a bit better um, because our carpets, traditional carpets require quite a lot of maintenance and uh, you need to take care of them in a special way so you can't really use a vacuum cleaner and I think that in Sweden if I take it with me yeah okay I can take it with me but then it's gonna be difficult to take care of these carpets that's why I need to find something that is probably very close to our traditional carpet but not that but that doesn't require that much maintenance I think that for now I'm not gonna buy any of the carpets but probably next time and uh, since I have not eaten breakfast now it's time to eat breakfast it's 12 o'clock After eating my breakfast slash lunch, I'm going to another uh, shopping mall called Bishkek Park. It's actually very close to where I was eating. And here I want to visit a place, a store called Miniki. It's a new brand that launched last year in 2020. And it's supposed to be like Zara or H&M and I am very curious to look at the clothes and see what they have. super amazed by the quality of the clothes it's such a good quality I never I don't know why but I never expected it to be that good uh, and what is so fun also is that it's made in Kyrgyzstan so here you see made in Kyrgyzstan it's so super cool so I decided to try one of the sets, these are trousers and I must say they are so comfortable, it's just amazing. 
and this blazer I really love the style I always have like different blazers and then different uh, trousers I don't have a set so I thought maybe this could be it it's really good what do you think to be honest as I said I never expected these clothes be like really good but the quality is amazing now i'm back at home and uh, in the end i didn't buy anything from maniki the temptation was very strong to buy something because i want to support local brands local kyrgyz, kyrgyz brands but at the same time i thought that i don't need anything right now i have everything i need all clothes that's why i don't want to buy something and then just make it stay in my wardrobe my purchase in miniki is gonna wait until next time i am in bishkek on the other hand i visited another store in bishkek park um, a jewelry store and i just wanted to see what they had because uh, jewelry i like jewelry i think if you have followed me for some time you noticed that in all my videos i use some kind of jewelry and I mix and match something so I wanted to see if they had something and yes they had I think that in Sweden I don't find anything that I like but here in Kyrgyzstan or whenever I travel abroad I try to find some sets that are very unique and that don't exist in Sweden so I can be unique <laughs> And uh, this is what I bought. This is how it looks like together with a ring. It reminds me both of the musical sign. Uh, if you're a musician, you know which sign I mean. But also it reminds me of our traditional Kyrgyz patterns that we use in many things. Uh, yeah, what do you think? This is what I bought. I really love this set, it looks so good and unique. So this is it, I just want to make sure that you don't think that this is my normal life, that I wake up at 8 o'clock and go to uh, fix my nails and then after that go and shop at a shopping mall. This is now how my usual life is, um, it just became like this right today. Uh, otherwise, I'm pretty normal. Uh, I don't do that much stuff. Uh, I just wanted to show you Bishkek and what you can do here, probably as a tourist or if you just want to see life in another country. And uh, with that, I'm gonna finish my vlog. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.